Hey guys, it's Jenny at GoingGear.com and I thought I'd do a short video just about how to pack your pack. I'm just giving you more basics than anything than necessarily telling you what to pack or how much to pack. So hopefully this helps you out on any long adventure you take or even a short adventure camp out backpacking trip you go on. So let's get started. First things first, try to always pack your sleeping bag and then pack anything that you are going to set up for camp at night. So basically anything you're not going to need until you set up for camp all at the bottom and then center your sleeping bag right in the middle of your pack. Then you're going to go to your heaviest stuff. The heaviest items are going to be right around your sleeping bag. So this is going to be your tent, your food stash, your water supply, your cook kit, or your stove. This way you want to put it close to your spine and mid-lower back so that you're not putting all that weight on you as you're hiking to wear yourself out. And it also helps you stay balanced depending on whatever you encounter along your trip. After you've packed your heaviest items, then you're going to kind of wrap all the softer medium light items around it. That way you can stuff it in, so your clothing, your tent body, just to put around it, to stuff it in and tighten it up on the outside with your straps so that there's no shifting. That way everything stays in place, everything stays heaviest to your spine and your mid back. And then after you've done all this, then you're going to put anything that you might use frequently along your trip. So maybe your headlamps, your map, your compass, your bug spray, even keep your first aid kit just on the outer parts of your backpack, the small compact areas of it, or just on the outer rims of it. That way you can easily access it if it need be, especially if you're starting camp at night, you need your flashlight immediately so you can start seeing what you're doing or your and also, if you're traveling with fuel, make sure you close that lid tight and pack it underneath the food supply that you take. That way, even if it does spill, you're not going to have the chance of ruining your food. So, I hope that was helpful for you. I know I didn't go into details as far as exactly everything you need to pack, but I hope it gives you a general idea of packing your heaviest, your medium, and your light items, and how to kind of stack them up so you can go further in your trip without wearing out. Also, I forgot to mention, when you're packing, before you pack at all, try and make a list. So whether you're packing at home or you're packing at the trailhead, you know that what you have and what you're missing. So if you miss anything important, you're not out in the woods and scrambling. So I'm Jenny with GoingGear.com. You can find all your backpacking needs at GoingGear.com.